After a transient program terminates on CPM, it's often possible to re-execute it in memory without having to reload it from disk. This is a great little trick if using slow disks and it's much quicker to just jump back into memory. It's also great because it could prevent you from losing work if you exited a program without first saving. The re-execute command is the smallest possible command. It's simply an empty com file. We can easily create this using the resident save command. So if we type save zero rerun.com, this will create an empty file because it's saving zero pages to rerun.com, and hence we have an empty file. Under CPM, programs that load from disk are referred to as transient programs, and these run in an area of memory called the transient program area, TPA, which starts at location 0100 hex. A transient program is normally run from the command line by the console command processor, CCP, which is located uh, just above the TPA. When a transient program finishes, it generally returns control back to the CCP, and this is often done by initiating a warm start by jumping to location zero. After we've exited a program, we can re-execute it again by running the rerun command. This would cause the CCP to load this command into the TPA and jump to its start at 0100. However, because the rerun command is empty, it doesn't actually write over the existing program in the TPA, and instead execution starts from the start of the TPA, uh, which is the start of the program that was already in memory. This won't always work, though, as often programs won't initialize their variables when a program starts, or they may write over the CCP, in which case reloading it would, uh, wouldn't work because this part of memory would be corrupted by the CCP. Therefore, it takes a certain amount of trial and error to find which programs this will work for. We can demonstrate this with TinyBasic by entering a short program like this. We can exit BASIC and return to the CCP using the BY command. We're now back at the command prompt, and we can re-execute TinyBASIC by running the rerun command, which will jump back to the start of the TPA. This would be particularly useful if we'd entered a BASIC program, but forgot to save it before we exited. One thing to note in all this is that this little trick won't work under CPM+, Plus because it uses a different memory layout. Under CPM+, Plus, it actually loads the CCP into the TPA, and therefore it would write over any existing program in the TPA. So if we were to run our rerun command, it would just go to the start of the TPA, which would carry on loading the CCP again, because that's what's at the start of the TPA from the command prompt. Well, that's it for this video, a three minute video explaining how a zero byte file works. Make of that what you will. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this little trick though. And as usual, please subscribe and share. Have a look at some of our other articles on the Tech Tinkering website and some of our other videos on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel.